Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of Imperialism as the nation of Phoenix. Where we are in the midst of upgrading to field artillery, which might give us the edge we need to break the impenetrable fortress of Haxaco. Provided we can survive that long. Um, we don't need wool, so we're not going to buy. No, no, no. And victory at sea, okay. So our ships got through, our ships got through there, there, and there. Good. We have very little extra funding. Zazi joins us, which means that Zazi is going to die, but so be it. You explored more land, that's fine. I'm probably going to bring you home. Because for the time being, there's not much for you to do. Um, just sleep developer. He's not going to be able to do anything at all. What irks me is that the AI will have a, a field day getting... Yeah, they have lots and lots and lots of uh, goodies. I'll blast it. I can only upgrade one. So we'll have six upgraded units. I'm going to do this six upgraded units and a whole bunch of non-upgraded units. But we'll have to try. Um, yours are not upgraded, no. And just defend. I don't think we're actually going to be able to hold them. They're going to be eaten by Paragon. These are going to be eaten by Ordune, most likely. But I just wanted to do that because at least I got the Clipper ships. <laughs> And I got their troops, rather than them falling into the enemy hands right away. And now we need to start increasing our industrial capacity. We're going to start with the furniture industry. Yeah, we need to quickly upgrade our industry now, as much as we can. Um, I think we want to spend that on ships increase our fleet. I don't think we're going to be able to expand more, more artillery. Get more artillery. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, I can make one more rail car. Do I want to do that? Do I want to spend my precious... Yes, I do. We're still trying to industrialize our country so that we can get more goods out of this. If we're able to take down Haxico City, this is going to be relatively smooth sailing because then we can probably take control of the rest of the continent without too much effort. But at least it's going to be the goal, and we'll see whether that, see whether that succeeds. More animations, they are still trying to land there, that's okay. You're not going to be able to make a bridgehead there. He, of course, is going to park his entire army here and steamroll that nation. That's okay. I don't really care. And this is what I care about now. I want that to work. Whether it will, I do not know. And let's find out. Yes, yes, yes. And don't buy any resources. It's just too dangerous. And we are attacking Hexaco. Yes, auto deploy, that's fine. Has he upgraded anything? He has not upgraded anything. His Minutemen are upgraded. Which kind of sucks, but okay. I uh, let's see, is that a green square or is it a red, red square? It's red. And then go there, and we're gonna just uh, get ready. No! Oh dear lord, you actually moved into the line of fire, did you? You really want that? Ah. Oh, this is why I hate them. Okay. So I took one shot that I shouldn't have taken. Um. You can't move there. You're gonna move here. Can you actually fire from here? You can. You have that much range. Uh, you're going to move up here. I'm not going to move you into the artillery fire yet. 
Oh, okay, this is cool. I can actually sit at far range and destroy his front line without being touched. That is very good indeed. Okay, in that case, I'm going to take it very slow here. If I really have that kind of range, I'm going to take advantage of it. Really, I'm going to take advantage of it. Uh, can you move there? Uh, if I move around there, okay, so just to don't move into the artillery range. You are at the front edge. Do you are you actually in the range? No. So stay there. You move here. You move there. You stay put right there. You can move one square forward. Yeah, we're not going to move the artillery forward. Or the cavalry forward. Not going to move those forward. Because we have some artillery units that are actually in range of units. So I'm going to use them to blast away everything they can. Without getting hurt. Just increase our odds. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm going to be less vulnerable to a counterattack afterwards. And you don't have the range. No. You can actually fire on the walls. Which is better than a turn not spent. You can't reach there, can you? No. You're just going to stay and defend. He surrendered. Good. Now, though, next turn. Um, we need to sacrifice the cavalry. So you got hit twice. That's all the hits he's going to be able to take. Um, took one hit. Now that's six hits. Okay. Are there any more capable of shooting? There was one more. Okay. Now they're now they're done. That's all his artillery. We're committed. Um, you're gonna stay right there. And you, I'm gonna risk all the way up here. Just go there and make him not want to run away. Um, let's see, will you have range from here? Plenty of range. Um, I'm gonna move you all the way up here. So you can hit the back row artillery. The problem now is I want the artillery, his artillery completely destroyed. And that's gonna be a tall order. But at least I need to hurt them first. I don't need to make room for our light artillery. So that light artillery can actually advance. Uh, so I'll probably lose some artillery here because it is very unlikely that he won't counterattack with every single infantry unit he has while his artillery withdraws. Uh, he still has two units that are live. Can we get to them? Yeah, we can get to that one. Can we get to the other one? No. Oh, that sucks. Um, he is going to stay there and defend. That really sucks. That means he's going to have two units that are actually capable of attacking me. Just stay there. Uh, blast it. Okay. Um, can he fired at me. Fired at me again. Uh, nothing you can do. He's going to retreat. That's okay. He didn't attack, though, because he still had some artillery left. That's kind of interesting. Um, move down here and see if you can save him from retreating. Doubt it, but did I lose any units? I don't know if I did. Um, but we're definitely going to hit every with them with everything we got now. And that's going to be the end of him. There, now it's out of, out of the artillery. I want to see if I can at least destroy them, so I don't have to fight them again. Yes, I know you fought, you shoot, shot, shoot, shot me. Uh, I can't risk it. Uh, this one is dead. What? Okay. He was actually able to fire. I didn't think he could. 
Okay, now try to kill as much as we can. These have much longer range, don't they? Yes, they do. Ugh. Very bad news. Um, just try to destroy his, his units. That's more important to us right now. Yeah, he managed to retreat. Okay, in that case, just... And he managed to escape. These have already fired. The general has run away. You have nothing to do. Oh, they do have a general still. Okay, in that case, ta-da. Kill the general. And then kill the other units. Unfortunately, yeah, they lost 11 units, which is pretty good, but... And we actually lost nothing. My goodness. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, their fleets are pretty strong. Not gonna lie. We're gonna keep upgrading them. So we killed five of his eight artillery and one of the regulars. That is very good. Very good indeed. Yeah, yeah. Huxaco City. The, the hamlet of Huxaco City. That's the fall of Huxaco. Very good. Nothing to do for you guys. Now we're going to keep industrializing and connecting our country. Tempted to build a fort here, uh, but not really a priority. I need to just connect all the cities here so they industrialize, including him. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we could just yeah make a rail make a rail right there down there. Uh, these mines are all connected. These are not, but I can't make a depot. Hmm. I'd have to make a depot here in order to get all those resources. That's quite a lot of resources, actually. Uh, focus on the ones that are already connected. I think that's better. Um, he's not invading here anymore. No, he's trying to invade over there. And our forces here, I am going to push on. Even, no wait, I'm gonna need to check them. Um, cancel that, I need to see just how weak are you. Uh, because the most injured units should probably stay behind. Like the Corsairs, they're very damaged. Uh, I don't expect there to be too much resistance now. Um, so yeah, these I want to bring along. The rest of you stay behind. Do I want to upgrade? No, I don't. Um, I, I don't need more units right now. I think I'm going. That's going to be sufficient. I think to just keep invading and finishing off Hexaco and then finishing off the rest of the continent, which is now the goal. We are desperately in need of coal at this point, so I'm going to start transporting coal and iron. And yeah, we upgraded the timber, timber industry. We have enough guns to make more ships, which we are going to do. Going to eat. We're running low on coal. We might have to... We might have to uh, beg for more coal. I still want to expand our rail capacity. And we need to expand our industry to we yeah. So okay, so that's Haxaco out of the loop. That means Issa is open for anyone who wants them. And then it looks like they're sailing up there. Devron has a fair military now. They're weaker. I don't know. I could actually try to counterattack them, but do I want to do that? Dej has not yet succumbed, but they will next turn. So then I'll be at war with Dej as well. 
But he isn't attacking Hershen or Zalsi for that matter as much as I thought they would. So we'll lose all our overseas profits, which is painful because overseas profits are pretty sizable in this game. I don't know, how are we doing? According to the status. Council projection, we are way ahead. Of course, as if they actually ate our minor nations, that wouldn't be the case. And these guys I'm all at war with, so why they vote for me rather than him, I do not know. And the, the, the diplomatic strength, yep, yeah. <laughs> they're actually more hated than me, my goodness. Military strength, yeah, we are ahead for now. Patagon is sailing up to be the secondary one. Merchant Marine, still strongest. We are behind on our exports, that's bad. No overseas profits, yeah, Patagon is definitely taking charge there. But now, now we've breached that, so now we're going to go here and we're going to kill Patagon's colony. And that's going to hurt them. All that stuff, not going to give them a dime anymore. Uh, that's going to be good. Yeah, we're just going to punch down here, there, there, and then straight for the capital. And we're going to mop up here, and straight for his capital, and just mop up the rest of that. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. That looks like the plan. And we need to save up money in case we need more upgrades. And in case we need to buy more tech, because we are far behind in tech. We just haven't had the resources to spend on that. Um, one more quick check to make sure I haven't missed a naval invasion. It looks like they're only invading uh, Sussex, which is this one. I hope. Uh, no, that's not so. Uh, this is Sussex, yeah. Only I'm reading Sussex. Okay, it should work. I hope so. Yes, 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 they have a bigger fleet. I know. Uh, don't buy those. Do buy coal. We need coal. We don't need iron. We're attacking, so auto deploy, that's fine. And that's his damage artillery, where they decide to hide. And the least useful unit here is actually the general, so... There, he took all the three shots. Good. Now he can retreat. And now we can move the artillery forward. As far forward as I dare, at least. And we just want to kill his artillery, first and all. First and foremost. Because once their artillery is dead, he's gonna, he's gonna have to face me. He's gonna come out and face me, he'll have to. So we're just gonna move our artillery just forward a little bit. Uh, try to kill the other units that could potentially retreat. Oh, come on, let me, uh, let me move the cursor, come on. And of course I wasn't close enough. Uh, still not close enough. And uh, still not close enough. Okay, I don't have the range. In that case, we'll just wait. Um, we're gonna move our artillery forward and just wait because he's gonna have to attack us. Which he also did. Uh, that's fine then. You can stay. And uh, no, no units that I care about are left. So. Let's just blast him to pieces with our superior range. One of them decide to hide up there. Uh, boo. Uh, just get him out of the loop and then click auto play. There we go. Victory at sea. Yeah. Our fleet is growing, so I'm hoping that at some point we'll actually have a successful engagement. We took a province. Yay, we killed his artillery and badly wounded his units. And we made some money. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing we can do about that. We have minor nations. There's absolutely nothing we can do to prevent them. 
escaping on grass, but I don't think we're going to need them. It's going to be interesting to see once the next vote happens. And you are going to march on. Yeah, keep attacking. And you're just going to add to the fleet there. Hmm. We, do we have enough guns for more ships? Yeah, we do. I'm going to keep doing this, building one of each. I'm going to keep doing that until... Uh, yeah, until what point do we do that, actually? Um, I'm going to build four more clippers. No, five more clippers. Just to increase our capacity there. Uh, at some stage, some point, we'll have to stop doing that. That's going to be when we get ironclads. Which could be pretty darn soon. Uh, we are also a fair, fair bit behind in tech now. So I kind of want to fix that. Uh, I mean, we still haven't gotten the spinning jenny. Let's buy that. Still haven't gotten the steel plows. Or the Vesemir converter. Yeah, this is expensive, I know, but I want to do that. And I just want all the techs, so we can start upgrading. Upgrading our units. Because I don't think these guys are upgraded, the Minutemen. No, uh, oh, okay, so I need to get that tech soon. So all my Minutemen can get better. Whoops. Uh, that would be a huge upgrade for us. They are invading up here. That's the only invasion currently in progress. Yeah, okay. Yes, 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 they are in outnumbers, I know. We're not gonna buy wool, we're not gonna buy timber. We are gonna buy coal. We're not gonna buy iron. And deploy. So he has no artillery units left. Uh, which means we could take it nice and easy here. Um, and I'm just going to move a little bit forward. I'm going to see if he auto-attacks me. I don't think he's going to, but we'll see. Just move into a wedge here. They did. Okay, in that case. And they actually reached us. Um, I do the autoplay. Okay, he tried to retreat, but it didn't actually matter. And our garrison. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, Entrenched. We were entrenched. Uh, and now we're dead. That's to be expected. So, victory at sea. Our fleet is growing in numbers. I'm kind of hoping that at some point our fleet will actually engage him and actually sink the bastard. And we took another province, and we lost the province. That's okay. We got some text, spinning jenny, steel plows, and the Bessemir converters. I do not remember if it was the Bessemir converters or the uh, breech loading rifle that allows the next level of tech. Oh, come on. Go there. You are not longer, no longer invading there. You're invading here. Go there. Uh, you stay put. Your forces. Uh, can I afford this? And I can't build ships this turn, but that's okay. Yeah, we don't have the resources. We don't have the guns. Do this. Just see if we can get through. So 
So we have no guns, we can't build any ships this turn. I'm gonna keep adding a bit of rail capacity. And we're just gonna have to sell resources for more gold. Yeah, we're gonna lose her, and we're gonna lose. We are gonna lose our colonies. That's just how it's gonna be. Unfortunately. Um, but can I not upgrade you? I can't. Okay, so I need uh, this deck, which I can't afford because I upgraded units. Ah, stupid me. Okay. I don't know if he's defended this capital. He probably has. He probably has. We'll, we'll find out soon. Um, and if he has, we kind of want these guys to be down there for the next turn. Uh, do I have... Yeah, I actually have some artillery here too. Those two are going to go and protect Toxico City. Don't need them in the interior. Uh, I have enough artillery here. Um, do I have anyone defending Zim? I don't think I do. Move to Zim. And this is just trying to protect everything that shows up. I need to increase. I need to improve those light artilleries too. Ah, uh, need so much money, and I'm since I have so many wars, I'm not making anywhere near as much money as I usually do. Because usually you have overseas profits, but that's pretty much not an option. Ah, uh, okay, let's go for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't buy wool. Uh, don't buy timber. Do buy coal. Uh, don't buy the iron. And we are trying to attack him, and he has four units of artillery. And uh, I don't think I want to mess with this until I have reinforcements then. Okay, right, withdraw. And again, don't use the automatic function because automatic function sucks. It will retreat by moving here into their firing range. Which is not really much of a retreat. And victory at sea. Our number of ships uh, is increasing. My goodness, come on. At some point there has to be a decisive... My god. Do they have a lot of heavy ships? And I don't want to split this navy. They interrupted a trade, that's okay. An anti attack failure yeah, because we didn't want to mess with that. Not yet, anyway. Mexico City has become an industrial town, yeah. Dead submits to Devron, not unexpected. Mm. And you finished building there, good. We can connect it up there. You built a depot. And I clearly need to save up money for the best for the new new level of steel and stuff. Uh, yeah, I need one of them to get down here and build a railroad station there. Meanwhile, I just keep improving the terrain. That's okay. Uh, you're gonna stay here and defend. Uh, you're gonna stay there. Defend. And do I want to spend the money here or do I want to wait? Oh, let's wait. We're gonna. This should be enough. Should be enough to take that. Just to quickly conquer the continent. Just quickly do that. I need 16. Huh? I kind of need to get the industrial goods first because they are valuable. We also need to industrialize all our provinces, that's the, what the engineers are there for. We have eight guns, so that means more ships. Uh, 
At some point the navy will be so large that I can dare split it apart. Maybe. So we're at war with four the four remaining nations. Um, you're allowed to Paragon, you're allowed to Audion. So again, if Devron or the Nem want peace, that's fine by me. But I doubt they will. So yeah, we're gonna need to save up money so we can buy the new final tech. Um, invasions, they're invading here. But, and they're invading here. Oh, oh, oh. Um, that is unfortunate. Uh, da, 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 da. Send the artillery. And send those artillery to the capital. I kind of need to protect our home here. I mean, yeah. Get this one done. Fortify all the ports, major ports. That's what we'll have to do. And I'm, I was deploying troops here, wasn't I? Wasn't I? Well, I already had some, okay. In that case, it's going to be okay. And turn. Yes, I know that their fleets are stronger. Though I probably should take a break here. Yeah, I'm going to take a short break. And we will see what we can do here in the next episode. I think things are going pretty good now. We should be able to conquer the rest of the continent here. That's going to hurt one of our enemies pretty badly. Given that his entire industry is there. Yeah, now this is going to be lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I just need to connect all the stuff here. <laughs> okay, short break, and we will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll continue to do so.